evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. They say the best uh, gift you can give to someone is your time. And you are giving me really your valuable time. This is the last session. I know you are all urging to, reaching to go home. And the traffic is so bad, you could curse the commissioner of police. For Mumbai, Mumbai, he is a good friend of mine, Pratap Reddy. I can share his number if you want to send WhatsApp. Uh, so, so uh, he worked with me in the CBI in Mumbai when I was joint director. He was a superintendent of police. So you can do that. And uh, the uh, time is given to me is very limited, so I will not be gossiping about Pratap Reddy, the Commissioner of Police. I will come straight away to this topic. This is fearless against all odds. So uh, if you know Tamil, anyone knows, it says, there is a saying which says, Namarkum kudiyallom namanayanju. That means I am not subject of anybody. I am not subjugated by anybody. And I am not afraid of death. That is the meaning of that. Now, Markum Kudiyalom Namana Yanjo. The point is very simple. I, I'll, I'll hit the bullseye in the beginning. When you join the police or army or navy or anything, the meaning is simple that the death can come from anywhere with a bullet anytime from long distance. We have a three, three kilometer uh, sniper uh, weapons which I bought for the Mumbai police. I'll show you later. So, if that is it, the death is certain. I will die today or tomorrow. What is the meaning of dying million times every day? So there is a window. You put a curtain so that nobody can see and the bullet will not come. Here, there, ultimately you um, sleep in the bathroom and you die. Now what's a great fun? You can as well do a heroic job and die. So every job I did, there was full of death. For example, three years I was in the Gadichiroli Naxalite area, Gadichiroli, Chandrapur, Bandara, and uh, uh, various other places, seven districts. And uh, the uh, Naxals would ambush, they will shoot, they will uh, uh, put a landmine in your vehicle. I was there for three years. The other thing is, when we shot 300 of those gangsters in Mumbai, which I will show you uh, some of the uh, uh, faces, I never took a policeman with me forever. Because if they are going to lob a hand grenade from long distance, the policeman will also die. Besides me dying, I will kill, kill the others also, right? Say yes. So why kill them? So I said, let me die, but not them. So fearless has to be coming from inside. Somebody cannot be injecting uh, DNA or uh, various other things so that you become fearless. With that, let me go to the subject. Here are some of those histo historical figures who have been fearless. The end is known. Ultimately, the end is known. All of us are going to die. COVID may. How many people died in COVID? So well, we survived. So we are hearing, listening to some story. So here is my homeland, Maharashtra. Uh, uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Ultimately, he died at about 3, 33 or 35 or something like that. At a very young age, he died. Maybe with an unknown fever. I don't know whether it was COVID from the Wuhan lab or whatever it is. But he did die, he did. But he did live a fantastic, fearless life. That's why I'm showing. Here is another man uh, drinking all the time, smoking all the time, and nobody thought he would live long enough. But he was there to win the Second World War for the people who were allied to him, the allies, the uh, uh, people against Axis, he did win, a fearless man. Whatever he mentioned about India, is oh, that's a different thing. I mean, I will shoot him for that, for his comments on us, but then, uh, then, then, uh, uh, there is something to learn from enemies also. Even from a Daud Ibrahim, you can learn a lot. Uneducated fellow, working against all odds, working against law, making about $10 billion. Imagine, you, you all are all money-making people, you should know something from him. This is another guy, Julius Caesar, he was a, uh, a, 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 he was a sipa, he was a, 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 a lowest level of a, a man in the army and he rose to be the king emperor of uh, Roman Empire. So again a fearless guy and uh, how he was killed you know very well. And uh, this is another man, he was also a sipai uh, in the German army and then he uh, rose to the level of the Führer, the, the, the king emperor of all that he saw, the entire Europe. 
and he did whatever he did. Ra wrong thing he did is a different thing. But look at the rise. How fearless he could have been to rise to, to this level and whatever happened, happened, he faced it. Ultimately, with his girlfriend Eva, he killed himself in a uh, bunker. That's a different matter. But uh, he did whatever he felt is right. The last one is Alexander the Great. All his life he fought and all his life uh, he, he was going from place to place, winning, winning, winning. Fear was something which was not known to him at all. Can we have a video please? The first one. Sometimes my mind goes kind of crazy about skiing. And I ask myself, what if? So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a video uh, of a guy in Zermatt. I'm sure most of you would have gone. Uh, we had a conference, maybe we can ask these people to have the next conference in Zermatt in Switzerland above uh, Zurich. He goes into a, 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 an abyss, a cave of two kilometers and what kind of a risk he has taken, however much you have practiced. You know that um, uh, Sch uh, uh, Schumacher. He did do this and then broke his neck and then he was there uh, bedridden all his life. So that's what you pay. Now the next one I would like to uh, pay attention is, there is a uh, phobia list.com. You could all visit when you go home. Uh, I am terribly afraid of my wife. So I can admit that uh, that is what. So what made me to go do more and more work is that uh, damn scared of my wife, you know. So all of you have something or the other. Read the last line. There are 530 types of uh, uh, phobias. I'm showing only some of them. A to Z, it is there. And um, uh, you can see xenophobia is fear of strangers, fear of disease, fear of choking, blah, 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 blah. But all of us would have something or the other. 
and if you can identify and see that that is cured the only way you can go against fear is go towards fear and not uh, backwards don't run away from fear go there and face to face you can face it you can overcome that for example you have a very good looking boss man or woman whatever it is then you go and hug now one day and see what happens that is what is the uh, 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 coming out of fear so that is what it is so with this i request you to go have a look maybe you can identify i have identified some of them i told you one not the other ones so here is that do not fear failure but rather fear not trying many a nobel prize winner had gone there but then they backed out and they uh, abstained from getting a nobel prize some of us also would be that you are there but you are not there so can we have one more video please look at the fearlessness this is a wild elephant not trained come on come on come on come on Come on, come on, come on. They are looking at each other. Nothing else. that is fearless sir start moving please. lovely <laughs> can stop the video so do not fear failure rather fear not trying that's what oh next time when you see an elephant definitely you can try this and see what happens <laughs> So there is a great poet you know called Mahakavi Subramanya Bharatiya I don't know how many of you are from Tamil Nadu he used to have, he has written fantastic things about all fearlessness this this and all ultimately when he was trying to feed a temple elephant it pulls him uh, with the trunk and tramples him to death this is what i have shown you that is a trained elephant so here once you become fearless life becomes limitless like me or like you or like anybody once you can say you are afraid of heights if you start jumping from there like the movie called uh, zindagi na milegi dobara that uh, uh, guy rithik rithik roshan so if you can do something like that then the life becomes absolutely live. you can go to zermatt and try the trick whatever he has done i have i have been to zermatt i have seen a two year old children going fearlessly all the time they are not being accompanied by parents whereas we all the time saying that are baba pappu please don't get on the parapet wall you will fall down all the time we are putting fright into our children all the mama, you, some of the young ladies who could be mothers all the say kuch bhi karega to main police ko bulaunga shivanandan ko bulaunga so then that is how we are putting fright into the children you can always change so with that uh, we will go to the next one 911 attacks can we show the video please that's the last one i am frightening you with so this is about uh, i i i could have shown for half an hour with all the details and all that so uh, this happened there uh, in the usa and uh, about uh, 3000 people died and any number of people uh, had injuries and they were uh, missing and things like that it's all that is written and the loss is about 10 billion dollars and all that 
and many, many more things. And you can also see, remember about ML370. I don't know how many of you remember. There was a flight which took off from Singapore, supposed to go to uh, China, and in between, uh, I think it is uh, uh, 2014 or uh, somewhere like that, and just no trace. 236 people were there, including a dozen or so crew members. Where did it go? How did it go? Which Bermuda Triangle? Nobody knows. So this is the kind of a thing I'm trying to show that however much you are frightful, what happens, happens. So this is it. So I'm, 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 I'm not going to uh, go into details of America. We can see um, that happened in 2001. This happened in 1993. Here also, we had about 257 people died. 12 blasts uh, happened. And about 1,400 people were injured. 800 people are still missing. They are not traced. So again, a few hundred crores gone up in the smoke. So these are all the pictures you can see how it happened. This is done by the Daud Ibrahim, whose father had worked in the crime branch. So again, fearless, unless you can plan. Even 9-11, the commission of inquiry says, it is only because of lack of imagination they allowed it to happen. So if only they had picked up, put the ears to the ground and heard the murmuring, they could have stopped that. Now, I have shown you uh, a little bit about the organized crime uh, that was done by Daud Ibrahim. So the same thread I am going towards how you could become a fearless guy and control an organized crime syndicate, mafia. I am feeling mafia. These are the guys. Pre-independence days onwards, Karim Lala. Then uh, uh, our, um, uh, this guy, uh, the Tamil Nadu guy, Varadarajan Mudliyar, Haji Mastan, and then Daud Ibrahim, and so many. They had shot hundreds of people to death. Of course, they shot themselves also to death, but then policemen have died. You know the Batla encounter of uh, Delhi, uh, one, Josh, one uh, um, Sharma, Mohan Sharma got shot, and so many others have been shot right in the Mumbai police also. That was a ding-dong battle. But then what was going on from 1947 to 2000, how could you put down a disruptor has to come? And I was a disruptor, so instead of telling you stories on Napoleon, I'm telling you a story of my own. And I never, when I did all that, there was never anything called fear, or if the, it was there, then perhaps I would have uh, um, become a corrupt one like uh, these guys who are going to jail. You know, the last one has been arrested by ED, the earlier one was absconding, all that could have happened to me. Here is Daud Ibrahim, he is there in Karachi, and he's son of a Havaldar, and then he did that 1993, uh, 12 blasts. How much weapons did he bring? Four metric tons, 4,000 kilos of RDX, 2,000 AK-47s, 2,000 hand grenades, and so many other things. And only 300 kilos were used, and 3,700 kilos we recovered and um, uh, uh, blasted that away. Uh, we gave it to the army for doing that. So that is the kind of uh, enemy you have. Please remember, this enemy was there in Mumbai until 1984. He flew away from uh, Mumbai into Dubai. Then in 1993, when he did that, then he went away to ISI, that is Inter-Services Intelligence of Pakistan, under their protection. They run the government of Pakistan, and they protect him, and he is there under their protection. How tons of papers we have sent from Ministry of Home Affairs, nothing has happened, so that's it. Here uh, uh, is this. One more, Abu Salem, a tailor, seventh class fail, and Chota Rajan broke away from uh, Daud Ibrahim, went to Cambodia, uh, stayed in a uh, yacht, and now he has surrendered, he is in Tihar jail. This is another guy who was shot in the head in Bangkok, he still survived, and this is an MLA, and uh, his daughter is a uh, um, corporator, Geeta Gauli, and uh, this is a BJT engineer. He could have joined one of your firms. No, he opted to be this because his brother, uh, uh, Amar Nayak, was there and he was shot. So because of that, he had to take the family business. That is being a mafia, ma ma being a goon. So that is what he has done. 
So this is another one. He was shot in uh, Kolhapur. He was working from Belgaum and he was shot by the Mumbai police there uh, uh, in uh, this thing. All uh, as per law. Don't go away with the impression we shot 300 of them just like that. No. It is under section 100 of the Indian Penal Code where the right of private defense is there as per law. No proceedings, no court, no inquiry, no going to jail. That is how you run an operation. That's what we did. He is another guy from Varanasi. He did the 1992 JJ hospital shootout. And there, definitely, it was one terrorizing moment. For killing two people, they went with AK 47s and fired 657 rounds. There was one sub inspector and one six constables. Imagine what kind of a fright, what kind of a fearless life they must be leading now after they got away from that. He's another kidnapping king. He always took five crores or more whenever he kidnapped anybody, still available in the UP jail and running his business also. So um, very quite a happy ending uh, for him. So the long story cut short, in 1990s, when I took charge from Garchiroli, when I went, went, went there, the gangsters ruled Mumbai, 1947 to 1997, 1998, and businessmen were killed in dozens. Who are they? Uh, your uh, Gulshan Kumar, if you know him, the cinema maker, even now he is making movies through his families after his death, and um, uh, Takyuddin Wahid of the East West Airlines, and so many others. All high net worth in the world of Tucker was worth a thousand crores. He was a builder, and so many others. I can go on telling names, but again, uh, um, uh, this is uh, this is it. So these are all the number of shootouts we did, and uh, the police shootouts effective, identified, and proper with the law as the protector, not to go and beg anybody. So these are all the uh, uh, um, um, the uh, the other other criminals. What I want to show you now is that in 1998, they shot 101 businessmen like you worth 700 crores, 1,000 crores, and more. And that is where they terrorized by extortion, for extortion, by telephone calls, by calling people from foreign countries with this VPN, you know, um, uh, VPON uh, kind of a, uh, systems they had adopted. 101 shootouts, ladies and gentlemen, amounts to Every three and a half days, one businessman on the road being shot. Sunit Katav ran the best of the Mercedes car. And he was owner of the Katav mills. The ladies would know the cotton sardis used to be very, very famous from them. Worth 1,000 crores. He was shot dead at Mahalakshmi station. So then, with this fearlessness and going by the rule of law, but still showing the same pain to them, we reduced it by next year, 48. We brought a law called Maharashtra Organized Crime Control Act, and we implemented that. Bharat Shah, the movie maker, 2,500 crores is his net worth. We arrested him and put him behind bars for 19 months. He got a conviction under MCOCA. So we do that, and then it came down by half, like fever would come down. And the next year, it came down by another half, then 18. And ladies and gentlemen, by having a fearless cop, we put down all the shootouts, shootout at Wadala, shootout at Lokandwala, all those shootouts which are happening over 40, 50 years, we brought it to zero from 2002 to now. That is 20 years. For 20 years, ladies and gentlemen, we have brought zero shootouts there. And there is no extortion calls. Earlier, there should be thousands of extortion calls. Uh, um, uh, any kind of number of stories I can tell, but because no, no time, I'm not able to uh, uh, enthrall the audience with that. So we adopted that. In short, one line I can say, we followed the law by detention of about 1,500 guys there. 1,600 actually. One year, one person being detained, criminals. As per law, the commissioner of police had the authority. We did that. And then arresting them and putting them behind the bars. And the illegal weapons, it is 2,000 odd weapons. Anybody would go with a weapon and say, Abhi bol, ata bol. You know, they used to say, we put a, we, I made a statement in the press saying that anybody taking out an illegal weapon should not be allowed to put the weapon in the holster. That's what I said. It happened. It happened, actually. So all of them, we did that. And then uh, you can see the uh, last one is the encounters. 
about 300 of them, to, uh, about 300 of them. And with that, the shootout by the police is zero, and shootout by the others is also zero. In a graphical way, this is how the fever, Mumbai fever of killing came down. That time also, I used to go for a walk like this. People used to come and kneel down there and take a picture on the marine drive. I tell them, please take. Six o'clock is the time I come. So someone wants to shoot, come there. Point is very simple. Please understand. If I had taken a Z-scale security, how do I tell all the business people who came to me saying that so-and-so is calling, Chota Shakil is calling, Chota Rajan is calling. I can't tell them you are safe in my, my, my rule. I hope you all appreciate. If I'm going to take a Z-scale security, I can't tell you. So if I, show, I have to show fearlessness, I have to wear that as a badge of honor. Badge of honor, then only it can happen. So this one is this 2611. Most of you are familiar. I'm sure one or two of you would have been there in Taj or Oberoi or something like that. I was there working just next to that office. I became commissioner after that. Mr. Hassan Gafur, unfortunately, was there. He passed away now. So this is how it happened. This is again fearlessness. If it was there, intelligence was there. There is a book by the American journalist saying that six pieces of intelligence had come. They didn't act on that. Even we had commandos with AK-47. If only the commissioner of police had deployed them, if they had gone there, they were raring to go, fearlessness was not there, it is absent. Because of that, this Taj was held under siege for four days. NSG came 27 hours late, and they didn't know head and tail of what's happening, which is the place, where to go, which kitchen, and all that, they never knew. And those terrorists knew. They had come from Pakistan, either they had a bulletproof. They are again another set of fearless guys. Not that only we, you and me, could be fearless. They came without a bulletproof jacket. They were wearing only T-shirts. They were having enough guns and other things only to kill others. And they did that. That is about 200 people, uh, 165 precisely, they killed. And this is how Taj, Obroy, and others looked. The hand grenades, IED. Improvised explosive devices they brought. This is how it looked Taj. This is how those gangs, this is that heritage site where this is that um, um, uh, guy, Kasab. Please see one uh, uh, podcast by a boy called Ranveer Alahabadia where he suddenly called me and then had a discussion. It, about 10 million people have seen that. That is how Kasab behaved and how uh, Daud Ibrahim did all these kind of things. Please visit that podcast. Uh, by, it's called Beer Biceps. I don't know what beer and biceps have got to do together, but he has done that. The boy has done that. So this is Kasab. So look at this. Where is the bulletproof jacket? They have come to die, 10 of them. I, may, I, I saw nine of them dead with body warmth there. Means they, they were shot that time. And a little later, this guy, he was there in the custody for four and a half years. I, saw, I met him multiple times. So this is what we did. Quick response team. I went to Israel, brought people and trained them, trained the policemen. Combat team in, in 40 places. Bomb disposal squad, there was one. We made 13 of them. 85 lakhs, 40 vehicles we bought. And then we bought this again from uh, Mahindra's. And this is from the Tata's, all bulletproof vehicles. And then these are the guns. Earlier, the commissioner did say that because of the World War II Vintage 303, I did not deploy my people. Oh, we bought them. Now, anybody coming, definitely they would face all these. These are all from USA, Germany, and other places. The American name is written on top, if you can read. Since the time is not there. This is that sniper, I'm an American sniper, I'm sure you have seen. So we have got this, but unfortunately, we could never use this after that. So it is lying there. You know, we keep polishing that. <laughs> One day, I will definitely get a chance to go there on top of Gateway or Taj and, you know, fire. Three kilometers, it can take a bullet. And here is that tactical foldable uh, Uzi, Uzi as they call that. So we are now armed to the teeth. This is a foldable one. You can fold it by half. So um, uh, we have got, this is that Smith & Wesson, the, that red dot falls and the bullet will also fall immediately. So here the, uh, uh, are these things. We made a force one, about 235 guys and made them like NSG. So we don't have to wait for NSG, but NSG has come to Mumbai, Hyderabad, Gauhati and all that after that. The force one looks like this now. So as professional as you can. But unfortunately, so many years they never got a chance to display any skills. I hope that will continue like that because we don't want another, uh, another attack. 
So this is how we did all that. This was the response to them. To make people fearless, we do ask them to go. These are bulletproof ones, about 59 of them hovering around Maharashtra. Of course, Karnataka, Kerala, all these places, the government of India has given. Mr. Chidambaram, this is the amphibious vehicle we bought. And control room was revamped for four crores. Hospital was revamped. Then we did do an army of sheep led by a lion is better than an army of lions led by a sheep. So this is what is the conclusion. This is what is the conclusion. So would you like to be, the choice is yours, ladies and gentlemen, in your corporation, would you like to be a lion where you'll be leading? Of course, they need not be sheep. They can be lions also. But then, would you like to be the person who will lead, take risk, innovation, the change is the constant and innovative. If you are not innovative, you are not there. This damn mobile does 30 functions, which earlier I had 30 machines. Now the mobile is doing everything. So I was born in 1951. That makes me 71 years. See how many changes I have seen. You have also seen in your, in your um, uh, span of uh, career. So this is what risk taking, innovation, careers changing, everything thing. Yesterday the company was uh, having like Baiju's, $4 billion. Today it may not be there. Some Vedantu has come. So with that kind of a thing, you have to be a risk taker, you have to be a disruptor, and you have to be a lion, and you have to be of the above fearless. This is what is my urge to you with that. I take two more minutes uh, to, uh, you can ask questions later. Uh, I am finishing it faster. Here is the, again, fearlessness. I began this as a, as, as a retired uh, commissioner of police or DG in 2018 January. This is a food rescue mission. We wanted to save children, uh, give them food, attract them to school so that they will not commit crime. I was controlling crime by that. But then come COVID in 2020 March, and then no gatherings, no extra food, no risk recovery. I have about 20, I mean 29, 10 vehicles covering uh, entire Mumbai. And on a phone call, I would go there, collect the food and deliver to them. But it came. The other point is, you know all very well that under COVID, you are not allowed to go out of your flat. You couldn't go to that uh, down below area of, even for a walk. We, I was uh, completely blocked from going out. My people were blocked. They, they said, the society said, you cannot come back because you will bring COVID and you will be a super spreader. So we stayed, we took care of them. That's a different story. But then during COVID, I served 8.5 million meals. That is again fearless, ladies and gentlemen. So here, it is, it is, it is 9.5 million meals we have served now so far. In 2020, we have served so much. We have also grown during this time, pandemic time. Taking risk is part of our DNA. Taking risk is part of our training. And with that, we have grown in uh, Mumbai. Now, uh, even today, every day, 11 and a half thousand meals I'm giving. I'm taking to schools so that the children will get nutritious uh, meals and they get attracted, they come there, study, become employable, and crimes get controlled. It's a very, very far remote kind of a apna Bharat Mahan, that's it. But all of you can contribute, I can contribute, this is what I am doing, what you will do, I, I'm sure you all, this is all, what all, these, these are all happened very recently. For example, Katak started only now, uh, January, that is six months old. So there is a director general of police. Each place is headed by a director general of police, retired, and they are running these institutions. I'm sure they will all do very well. So this is the number of meals we have given. <coughs> you can read the, the number of meals we have served everywhere. In Mumbai, even today, come COVID, come rain, come whatever it is, we serve 11 and a half thousand meals. I'm sure you could also do a lot. This is, this is what. You can see here, 18 and 19, we served only 1 million meal by food rescue mission. Whereas in other years, we have scaled up. This is risk taking, this is innovating, 
getting four kitchens commission having more vehicles getting you people to give csr for so that we can get vehicles and food and various other things and scaling it up now we are using nutritional powder produced by a company in uh, amsterdam based uh, gurugaon based company we add it to this rice and atta so that the children measurable growth we are seeing we measured the boy or a girl and now we measure there is definite growth in their height weight and other things these are the children every day about 7 8000 of them i am feeding and also in uh, this that uh, nutritional scheme we give him a horlicks and also an a egg and these kind of boys are measured before and later later i am going to do a mensa test also to find out how brain wise they have grown so this is a yearly uh, um, uh, thing they do and this is what i used to look completely war torn isn't it i could have put a better picture there but i look like a gefelo who has gone through coals you know i have gone through coals and that is how my life is with this this is my email id dsiva100@gmail.com thank you very much for listening to me very very patiently thank you I request you to remain on stage and invite If Vijay Swami Nath. If anybody wants to say anything, most welcome. I will learn a lesson from you. I have been learning always. Please sit down. Please sit down. At the age of uh, 69, I went to S P J in college to learn fintech. They charged me four and a half lakhs of rupees. Didn't go through at all. Everything went above my head. Why I sat like a young boy in a cap Gemini, and all the other guys were all from such companies. I sat through, pretended to understand nothing. But learning can happen at this age. I am 71 now. I am willing to learn from you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Sir, so, can you use the mic? Can you sit? Sir, one question, please. You want to say something? Why don't you use this? Yeah. I'm from the I'm audience. Please. You this. Got it. There is one audience question. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Sir, I have seen your graph. Uh, I didn't see Bangalore there. Is there any reason, please? I I didn't hear him well. Can you? Okay. Uh, I have seen the graph, but I didn't see Bangalore there. Is there any reason? The, the, that one, yeah, yeah. You are talking about the roti bank. Yes, I was please. talking about the policing aspect. No, no. Okay, no. okay, okay. <laughs> See, if if anyone wants to start, I'm looking for a reliable person. The cops are all busy doing whatever it is. I don't know what they are doing. You are all uh, knowing very well. But if I, the, I, I am not looking, not necessarily for a cop. If anybody comes, if he is trustworthy, I am willing to give him a vehicle worth seven lakhs. I'll give him five lakhs uh, to start with for uh, seed seed funding, and then again another five lakhs I can give. We can handhold. If anybody is willing, tell me who it is. We'll start one in Bangalore. We can start one. Thank in you. Bangalore. No doubt about that. Done. Yes, sir. I just have uh, one comment and one question. I, I think it's incredible you are here. You are our hero. You have saved so many of our citizens. Thank you for that. Um, and also. uh instead of spending time with shrinks i think we we can just uh, listen to you 10 minutes i always already feel uh, very uplifted um one question is uh, you talked a lot about conquering fears um one uh, all I, i'm sure all of us i have fears i'm just talking about myself in that process of eliminating it the outcome the negative outcome looks very big uh, how do you handle that how do you detach that and still conquer that See, that's a brilliant question, actually. Um, by um, by the uh, uh, by the gold getting burnt by the fire and by getting beaten, it becomes an ornament. So, in the same way, if you are that gold and you have to become an ornament, you have to go through that getting out of that fear process. There can be collateral damage. There can be some damage or the other. and various other things can happen that way you have to face that but you can be having someone to guide and control a counselor or a mentor or a father figure or somebody a professional psychologist or a psychiatrist all these things can help 
Definitely all these things can help. I want to tell you something that all the cops invariably from the, uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, they have a problem of serious depression, maniacal depression, which is homicidal or suicidal. Homicidal means he shoots others. So suicidal means he commits suicide. They use a weapon and shoot. And the other one is they have high blood sugar and high blood pressure. These are the prices, these are, this is the price which they pay because they have to be fearless or pretend to be fearless and go and face the crowd. I was a very healthy uh, young fellow, but in 1998 when I was made the Joint Commission of Police, with everyone getting killed three and a half days and the newspaper and TV channels blowing you to pieces, I got the great high BP and high blood sugar. Even today, I am trying to cope up with that. I have a patch here to measure now, the just, just now, last week's attachment, to see how high it goes because of COVID. COVID pushed it up. But the point is, if you join the police, uniform looks good, you can misbehave with anybody, get away with it, all that is fine. But do you know they are paying a collateral uh, damage? The family, how many wives have run away, how many wives have divorced, how many th other things, how many extramarital affairs these guys have put up with. You know, it's not a pleasure having an extramarital wife when the wife is checking your mobile phone all the time in the night. You know? <laughs> so that is all an issue. So the question is, sir, for you, you could have a mentor, you could have a psychiatrist, you could have a counselor, you could have a senior, or um, uh, you simply accept your wife as your guru. That is the easiest way, yes. correct? Yes. So that is the kind of thing we can do. Because so, someone, as they say, someone put up a sale of Encyclopedia Britannica 37 volumes because he got married, the wife knows all the answers. It's a joke, don't take me otherwise. I am not a misogynist or anything like that. But uh, it's just a, um, a joke, that's it. So that is how it is. Next, sir. Anybody? Anybody else? Any, any? Come on, madam. You want to ask something? Anyone? Any ladies? You can't just go without ladies commenting something. <laughs> you, you have to say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one Who, minute. He's, uh, you, you give yeah. it to me. You, one minute. I'll I'll, he's going to give me something. I'm going to take this. Yeah. 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 Who Come is on. your inspiration other than your wife? <laughs> what did he ask? Who is your inspiration? Other than your wife. Uh, other than your wife. <laughs> My inspiration? <laughs> yeah. See, I can impress all of you by saying uh, directly Ramakrishna Paramahansa was my inspiration or Vivekananda was my inspiration. All that is a pakka lie, 100% green lie. I am not going to tell you some Roosevelt or uh, some um, 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 you know, Aristotle or Pluto was my... Nothing. You learn all these things while you are going. You have to distinguish yourself. I was a professor in the University of Madras trying to teach economics. 85 boys used to be in my class. I was more frightened of them than <laughs> economics, you know. So they drove me away. I appeared for UPSC in Chennai, from Coimbatore to Chennai. Daily Blue Mountain Express I used to go. Go back, come again and all that. First time I passed IPS, I was not fit for becoming a policeman. Do I look like a policeman? Do I look like that? Not at all. But the point is, you have to go about learning. Fall, rise, fall, rise. They say failure is not a problem, but not trying again is the major problem you have. So we, I committed. I, I admit to you that in this process of success, 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 many mistakes have taken place. Many, many wrong things have happened. All those things are there. But at the end of it, when I look back, there is nothing to regret, nothing sinful one has done. So that gives me happiness, that gives me sleep. So my role model, since you asked a question, I must say, I, my role models were there in the service. There are many of them. If you are looking for one role model, all rolled into one, you will not get anybody. But I had X, I had Y, I had Z, but pick up from them. I, I also want to say, I had a paka 100% negative role model. Every day I used to write in a notebook saying that when I become super under police or DIG, I will not do this which this man has done. Don't you think? I, I thanked him. 
I have written a book called Chanakya, Seven Secrets of Leadership. I don't know whether you have heard it. It is there, translated in Kannada and uh, the Ma Ma Malayalam, Tamil, uh, Gujarati, Marathi and all that. 1,20,000 copies sold. In that, I have mentioned that I thank this man, the negative role model, that every day I decided when I become as senior as him, I will not do this like he has done. So that is what made me a very, very successful policeman because role models ne need not necessarily be the ideals. It can be the devil's incarnation also. I hope you all agree with me. Devils, in, like for example, uh, Daud Ibrahim, he could be inspiring you to make that $10 billion which he has made by all wrong means. But pick up only that point, like a swan, when they say you put up a um, um, bowl of uh, milk and uh, water, it picks up only the milk and leaves the water. Can we not do that? We can learn from negative guys. So my role models were there in the service. Like you all know, maybe Julio Ribeiro or uh, uh, Mr. S.K. Bapat, or Mr. V.K. Saraf, or uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mendonsa. He was my commissioner when this 98 incident took place. Gems, these were all gems. The modern day guys are all absconding, you know? Everyone is absconding, but these guys belong to that generation, and then they were absolute gems. So I learned from them, but there was one gentleman, I don't want to name him, but he was a negative inspiration for me. I'm sure you can learn from what I have said. There is a negative guy, say that I will not do this when I step into his shoes. If you do that, you're... and you could have a multiple role models, multiple role models, pick up one one item. If you're looking for a perfect human being, perfect teacher, perfect anybody, none. Like you're looking for a perfect spouse, the wife or the husband, both. There is none. I have been handling lots of broken marriages as commissioner of police. After the, a few years of marriage, a girl, a girl comes and tells me, this is not the fellow with whom I was quoting for six years. I said, for six years, you didn't find him as a devil. Now he has become a devil. She said, no, marriage ke pehle aisa nahi tha. Abhi marriage ke baad mein aisa ho gaya hai. So like that, it is, life is like that. Correct? Thank you so much. Thank you so much.